So today is the 18th of January and I am about to go to the hospital to have my final consultation before my operation and I am actually picking the size of my implants today so I'm very nervous because I'm pretty much going to be choosing the shape of my body for the rest of my life so quite a big decision um i'm not sure if i'm gonna be able to film anything but i'm going to bring my camera anyway Today is the 3rd of March and it is literally one week tomorrow until my operation. I am so nervous, I literally keep having nightmares about it. Anyway, I am about to go to the hospital to have my pre-op tests where I think they're just going to be doing some blood tests and then I am going to be booked in for my COVID test which I think is three days before my operation and then I will obviously have to self-isolate for those three days. But yes, I literally cannot believe my operation is in a week. It's literally flying by. I remember I like first inquired about getting a boob job like back in September and I just cannot believe how quickly it's gone. But yeah, I will, I might bring my camera and see if I can vlog anything today. So I have just had my pre-op test. I had a blood test my blood pressure taken and then my nurse just kind of talked me through everything i need to know about the operation on the day and i have also been given my home covid test to do which i'm not looking forward to but yeah one week tomorrow and i will be back here we're ready for the big operation right, so i am just going to show you some of the things that i have picked up in preparation for my operation next week so i got this v-shaped cushion from amazon it's because you're not actually meant to sleep lying down for the first few days after surgery so yeah you have to kind of keep yourself upright and i got this macom post-surgery bra so my surgeon actually recommended this one he said it's much better to get a support recovery bra that does up from the front. This one is actually medically designed for like most breast procedures like breast augmentation, breast reduction. Um, so yeah, I got a size extra small. This is what it looks like. Hospital gave me this body wash. It's also, well it's not a hair wash but they've also asked me to wash my hair with it. So they've actually given me like a schedule. So three days before my surgery, I have to start cleaning with this. And then the night before my surgery, I have to wash my hair with this. I'm not really sure why. I think it's just like an antibacterial cleaning body wash to make sure that there's no kind of like residue on your skin. And then, of course, I got some dry shampoo because I'm not going to be able to wash my hair for like a week which I'm dreading, so I'm probably gonna have to stock up on those. But yeah, that is like the main things that I've needed to buy. There is a company very kindly sending me a recovery pack as well. So I'm hoping that arrives before my surgery. Um, so yeah, I will show you that as soon as that arrives as well. Okay, so it is the night before my surgery and I am literally so nervous right now. <laughs> I have just had a bath and I had to basically wash and wash my hair with this. It really does not smell very nice. It's basically like antibacterial soap. Um, I also had to scrub off my fake tan and take off my nail varnish. Ugh. Anyway, I have just started packing my overnight bag. 
because I am staying at the hospital tomorrow night. So I thought I'd show you what I'm bringing. So I am bringing some pajamas, some trackies for the next day. Um, I'm bringing an oversized hoodie, my big V-shaped cushion, which I would definitely need for the drive home. Some underwear, some baby wipes. These are sleeping tablets just in case I'm in too much pain to sleep tomorrow night. My post-surgery bra, notebook, my book that I'm reading at the moment, which is very good by the way, all about manifestation, but it kind of like talks about the science behind it. Very good. Some makeup, although I doubt I will be putting any makeup on, um, but you never know. And then I'm just bringing some toiletries like deodorant, moisturiser, toothpaste toothpaste and that sort of thing but yeah I am very nervous I literally cannot believe tonight is the last night of having small boobs <laughs> anyway I might vlog in the morning I'm not sure I'll see how I feel but I will probably be very tired and very nervous so we shall see but I will bring my camera to the hospital with me I'm not leaving my house until like 11 30 in the morning i've got to be at the hospital for like quarter past 12 i will bring my camera tomorrow and i will try to vlog if my nerves allow it <laughs> so today is the big day i am so nervous I honestly like barely slept last night. I woke up like eight times. I just cannot believe today is the day. Like I've honestly been wanting to do this for like five years. So yeah, very nervous. And I just hate the fact that I have to go to the hospital on my own and be there overnight on my own. But it will be worth it. Even just like little things like last night when I was sleeping, it's just weird to think that might be like the last time I sleep on my front. And I'm probably never going to be able to wear all my clothes. I'm going to have to buy all new clothes. Anyway, it's currently 10 to 7. And my surgeon has said that I need to eat something at 7 o'clock before my operation. Because I'm not actually allowed to eat for 6 hours before. So, yeah. I'm going to have something to eat. Hopefully that makes me feel a little bit better. I normally don't eat till like at least 11 o'clock. So I just do not have an appetite. And... I actually feel quite sick with nerves. Oh, I'm so nervous. I, I'm gonna have something to eat and then I'm going to do some work and then I'm leaving mine about 11.30 to go to the hospital. Got to be at the hospital for 12.30. Yeah, I'll bring my camera, but I highly doubt I'll be able to vlog that much. We shall see. But yeah, nothing else to report. I'm just, no fake tan on i've had to take my nails off i haven't ha i haven't not had nail varnish on for like 10 years cannot wait for like two weeks after my surgery when like i can actually enjoy having new boobs <laughs> and like i can just be over the pain and the recovery and just crack on with my normal life anyway i'm gonna stop rambling going to be leaving my house in literally about half an hour. Jasmine is about to come over because she is moving in for the week to look after me and then my mum is giving me a lift to the hospital which is probably a very bad idea because she's definitely going to start crying and that's just going to make me feel even worse. But yeah not long and the most difficult part will be over. I just hate injections hate them i hate hospitals i just can't wait for like this time tomorrow when i'm going to be home wish me luck just outside the hospital now about to go in mom is trying not to cry <laughs> Everyone, 
so I have just woken up from my surgery and oh, I feel so emotional. <laughs> I don't know if it's the anaesthetic like making me feel really emotional but I'm just so glad the surgery is done and my surgeon said it went really really well and the nurses said they look really good and yeah I'm just so glad the actual operation is over um apparently I woke up and I was like off my head on the anaesthetic and all the nurses said I was like telling everyone how pretty they were <laughs> um but I'm not gonna lie it is really painful but they've given me some painkillers so hopefully that will kick in soon but yeah I've just been taken up to my room I have such a nice view I don't know if you can see so a bit of a scary thing happened um so I needed a wee so I called my nurse and she took me to the toilet and then she left me and said to call, like pull the thingy when I was done so she could come back and let me out um so I stood up and then I felt like so so dizzy like my head started spinning and I felt really hot and faint I pulled the thingy and it literally snapped from the ceiling and just like fell from the floor and didn't like make a noise or anything this fell from up there when I tried to call it when I thought I was gonna pass out and I was just on the floor like shit I'm gonna die <laughs> shit what am I gonna do um and at this point I could just feel myself like about to pass out so I started lowering myself to the floor so that I wouldn't have like really bad falls standing up. I think I got to like my knees and then next thing I knew I like blacked out and I woke up in another room with loads of doctors around me and I came back around so I could hear what they were saying but my eyes were still shut so I think they thought I was still unconscious but I could hear them like quick get an oxygen mask like qu quick where's the drip I'm like really quite frantic, it was really scary. And they were saying my blood pressure had dropped down to 79 from 110, which is very low. Um, I have quite a low blood pressure anyway, because like I'm quite small. But yeah, I have a low blood pressure anyway, but like that was very, very low. And I just, I felt sick and I was like going dizzy. Anyway, they gave me an oxygen mask. They gave me a deep, like a, a hydration drip and I started to come back around and then they brought me back into my room and everything was fine but yeah it was very scary I thought I was gonna just be unconscious in the bathroom on my own with no one to come and help me <laughs> I am just chilling in the hospital bed now I had something to eat I've had lots of water oh and also my surgeon came in to talk to me about half an hour ago just to tell me like how the operation went and he said it went really really well he said they look very aesthetically pleasing um like a really good size and the surgery actually took two hours um and normally they take like just under an hour and a half he just said there were like a few little extra details they had to do or something um and actually I know I said I was having 310 cc implants but he basically explained that they couldn't use the 310 implants because my frame is so small and that the skin wouldn't have stretched over them. Um, he also said that it would have just looked way too big so they actually went with a 255 cc implant. They must have just decided that in the operation. I haven't looked at them yet at all but like they feel a good size obviously they're swollen at the moment but they're definitely like my surgeon said they're definitely a good two cup sizes bigger which is exactly what I wanted very excited to see them um I'm not gonna lie I'm in a lot of pain like I definitely underestimated how painful it was uh I've had some paracetamol and ibuprofen and then in half an hour i'm gonna be having some codeine so i'm gonna stay awake until then have some codeine and then hopefully that will knock me out a bit so i can get some sleep nothing else to report so happy the surgery went well hopefully the pain gets better from here right i am just going to put on some very natural makeup 
just to make myself feel a little bit better. Um, I'm literally just going to put on this tinted moisturiser, a little bit of concealer, my lip liner obviously, bronzer, a little bit of mascara and some lip balm. <laughs> Um, anyway, I thought I'd give you a little update on last night. So, I think I probably had like one hour of sleep. It was not a good night's sleep at all. I actually fainted five times. Every single time I needed to get up to go to the toilet, I would pass out, literally. I would, on the edge of my bed, and then just, I was out. <laughs> um, my blood pressure just kept dropping, like, literally every single time I stood up. So I've been told I need to drink lots to keep hydrated so that my blood pressure comes back up. But it also means that I can't really have any really strong painkillers like codeine or morphine because that's just going to make me even more lightheaded. And I'm trying to actually help me get to the point where I can walk and stand up so that I don't have to stay here another night. Um, so yeah, my pain is quite bad because all I'm taking is paracetamol at the moment. But fainting is so scary. Like, I never really faint before. I didn't really think that would happen. Like, my nurse did tell me that it was likely to happen, but I just thought, no, that won't happen to me. Um, but yeah, five times. And then my surgeon came in this morning and he said, I'm the faintiest patient he's ever had in 25 years. <laughs> um, but no, I do feel really good now. I've got a Diet Coke. And hopefully, if I stop fainting, I will be able to go home. Thank you. My taxi driver has come to pick me up. Come on. Say hi. <laughs> I'm so glad to be out. I've been waiting for you outside for like a while. So, <laughs> She's got the goods. I got it! Yay! Thank Do you, you want these now? Yes. I was craving fruit and this. But this. But this as a necessity. The ultimate. Oh my god, I cannot tell you how much I have been craving a Pepsi Max cherry. Thank oh. you, hon. Molly got me. Thank you. Oh, you're welcome. <laughs> so, finally, our Nando's has arrived. Very lucky because Jasmine actually decided to order it to the wrong address. So she had to go and retrieve it from a poor old man who probably thought he was going to be tucking into this tonight. <laughs> have just been editing this video and I have realized that it is very long so I have actually decided to put the boob job vlogs into two separate videos just because if I put it all into one video it's literally going to be like a 40 minute video and I do not expect anyone to watch me for 40 minutes straight <laughs> so yeah I'm going to put it into two videos and the second video is going to be like the day after I get home and then like the week after my operation. And I also realised I didn't film an outro. So I just wanted to say thank you so, so much for watching this video. I do hope it was helpful, insightful. But if I have missed anything or if you have any questions or if you want me to 
do another Q&A maybe about the actual operation or the recovery, then just leave me a comment in the comments box and yeah, maybe I can do another Q&A like after my recovery. Do you actually think like looking back at my video, like I have definitely included a lot of stuff that I didn't really see in any other boob job blogs, like how they like drill on my body before the operation. Like I hadn't seen that before. I had no idea that they were going to do that. So yeah, I hope this video has been somewhat helpful for anyone also thinking of getting a boob job. But yeah, if you have any questions, then just let me know. And then the second video will be the days after my operation, the whole kind of recovery process. Right now I'm filming this, it is literally one week since my operation and the pain is a lot better. I'm pretty mobile, I'm able to do quite a lot of stuff by myself now, I'm able to walk around, I'm not like going out on like crazy long walks or anything but I would say a week after my operation I'm feeling pretty good. But yeah, I'm gonna stop rambling. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the second boob job vlog. I belong, I belong to you.